Hello everyone! So in this video, I'll be talking about volcanoes. So I'll be talking about what volcanoes are, how they form, and the deadliest of volcanoes. So volcanoes are basically when you have when lava spews out of a uh, out of the mantle, and they form and they form when magma actually pushes up to the ground. But this is just a simple definition. So let's start from the beginning. So these are the plates, and the plates are constantly moving. They're moving only three inches per year, but they're still moving very slowly. And in the boundaries, many interesting stuff are happening. There's three stuff that can happen, actually. Divergent boundaries, convergent boundaries, and transform boundaries. A divergent boundary is when two plates move away from each other. So, uh, when this is a, how uh, this is a divergent boundary, and as you can see, there's two plates. This is one plate, and this is the other plate. They're moving away from each other, and in the mantle, molten rock melts and it forms magma. This magma rushes in and it wants to get to the cross. So it seeks an opportunity when the two plates move away from each other, and it'll get to the top, and that is how a volcano can form. Another way is a convergent boundary. A convergent boundary is when two plates collide with each other. So, uh, two plates, when two continental plates, which means when two plates will, with land meet with each other, collide, then they'll form a mountain. They'll build up and form a mountain range. But when an oceanic plate and a continental plate move to get to collide with each other, the oceanic plate will sink and move to the mantle. And when it moves to the mantle, it will melt, and it will form magma. So, the magma also just wants to get to the crust. So, it will push itself up and go, and it'll like, dig itself t up to the crust, and it will just spoo out the magma. And when the magma gets out of the, and gets on the crust, in land, we call it lava. So that's the that's how it can form from a con convergent boundary. The last one I want to talk about is a hot spot. So as you can see, this is an oceanic plate and it's moving, and magma is rising to the top, and th it'll it'll form a volcano, and then it will move in the same thing again. So let me just replay this. So just to get to talk about it again. So as you can see, magma will rise to the top and it'll form a volcano. But if you notice, the volcano is only forming at this spot. It doesn't form here or there because magma is just here. It'll just go up each time it goes to the oceanic crust. So that's how a volcano can form from a hot spot. The next, so those are the three type, three different ways a volcano can form. Now let's talk about some of the some of the deadliest volcanoes and the states of the volcanoes. So these are the this is the ring of fire, and this is where most of the deadliest volcanoes occur. And so they're all where the boundary of land and ocean meet. So the, the, that's a common, common place for volcanoes to form, as well as for earthquakes to form. And that's why it's called the Ring of Fire, because many volcanoes form in this range. So, let's talk about some of the volcanoes that have impacted us most. And before I talk about that, I just want to talk a little bit about the states of a volcano. A volcano can either be active, which means it can erupt in any time, dormant, which means they may not erupt anytime soon, but they can erupt in the future, and extinct, which means they'll never erupt. So let's make that smaller. And the first one I want to talk about is Mount St. Helens. And Mount St. Helens erupted in 1981 or 1980, and it was it caused a massive eruption, and it it didn't to kill too many people, but it, it badly damaged the nature around it. The forests were burnt, and lots of st happen, lot of bad stuff happened to the wildlife around it. And Mount St. Helens is still active, which means that it can erupt in any time. 
But that's not to worry because they, it's now not it's not like making more massive eruptions since 1981. It has been making very small eruptions. For example, this thing over here. This is not really a big eruption. It's a very small eruption coming from Mount Saint Helens. So that's Mount Saint Helens. The next one I want to talk about is Mauna Loa. And Mauna Loa is in Hawaii, and it's in the Big Island, and it's in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Well, I've been, I've been to that place. And in Mauna Loa, it's the, it has killed people, but many, most of the people who die from the Mauna Loa volcano are dying because of the harmful gases it produces. So Mauna Loa is, is also is formed from a hot spot. It's Hawaii actually formed from a hot spot. So Mauna Loa formed from a hot spot too. The last one I want to talk about is Mount Tambora. And Mount Tambora is uh, is in Indonesia, and it had a massive, tremendous eruption. And I'll talk about that in the third slide. So here is the third slide, and. Let's talk about Mount Tambora. So Mount Tambora is in Indonesia, and it killed a hundred thousand people, a lot of people. And it's it was in Indonesia, and it erupted so much ash that the sky became hazy. And when the sky became hazy, then the in summer, when it became summer, then the sun couldn't shine its rays its rays of warmth towards the earth. And that caused crops to not grow. Lots of stuff happened because of that. And there was so much stuff happened that even it, it, the ash reached the sky to New England, which is the northeastern of our country, USA, the northeastern part, New York, and that place. And it reached there. Can you imagine the ash reached there? That's part of the sky. And it made the... It, so it was also... There was no summer there either. Because light couldn't either reach that part. So much ash came out of Mount Tambora. And it was so, so much ash. It was called the year without a summer. So that's Mount Tambora. And the next one I want to talk about is... The White Island Eruption. So the White Island eruption happened in New Zealand, and it happened in December. It happened in December nine, two thousand nineteen, which is a year, a week, and a day ago. This is how it looks like, and there was actually forty forty seven people on a cruise ship. They went on the, to as a summer vacation, and twenty two people died, and the rest got injured and got seriously injured from the volcano. So that's the White Island eruption, and these are my citations, and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!